Botswana has sustained one of the worst AIDS crises and epidemics in the world. To the credit of the Botswana government and its partners, it has addressed this crisis successfully. With more people living with HIV, there is a second wave to the AIDS epidemic, which is cancer. But Soho, which means health in Setswana, is a response to this emerging problem of cancer. Scott and I partnered to form Butsoho. We were medical school classmates and friends. And although we pursued different areas of medicine and infectious diseases and oncology, it is really the HIV and cancer link that brought us back together. Increasingly, there were patients coming in with cancers, and I was frustrated as a clinician. There were a lot of questions that we didn't understand, and the things didn't seem to be connecting together to provide the care that was needed. And that is one of the the biggest part of what Botswana has tried to do is to create this community between the oncology community in Botswana, the MGH and greater Harvard communities, plus the government of Botswana and a number of other institutions. And now we have a full-time medical oncologist on the ground in Botswana. Dr. Elizabeth Digger. But SOHO is a collaboration between the Massachusetts General Hospital Cancer Center, the Botswana Harvard Partnership, the Botswana Ministry of Health, as well as local healthcare providers here in Botswana. But Soho is really anchored by regular tumor boards and on-site visits. And these are really dynamic things. One month I will be in Botswana and Jason will be in Boston and we're having these conversations together with groups of oncology providers focused around a patient. So welcome everybody to the Botsoho, um, Botswana Tumor Board. Uh, we have a great case uh, today, a case of a 41-year-old female with pain These meetings pain. direct where the needs are and what the opportunities are. That's how cervical brachytherapy came in to be. Cervical cancer is a huge burden, and so Butsoho helped with the introduction of cervical brachytherapy, which is a form of um, curative, potentially curative, uh, local radiation. Dr. Memory Nasingo, who is a clinical oncologist there and is now the main practitioner of cervical brachytherapy in the country, is a true expert in, in this procedure and is treating anywhere from 30 to 50 patients a month, uh, a volume that is greater than the majority of U.S. Uh, cancer centers. The tumor board has been really successful because we get to present our cases, which um, in most cases we think the Boston doctors have never seen, so they get excited about seeing cases that we get. I think it helps them in that way that they're seeing all these things that we are doing with minimal resources sometimes. And then for us, of course, it really helps because in all the centers, we don't have adequate staffing. And like for radiation, you need peer review, you need help in making decisions. Every month, we discuss one cancer. We discuss one patient and the line to treat the patient. Many of these tumor board cases involve cancers that arise in the context of HIV, but increasingly that's not the case. One example of that is a, is a patient with pancreatic cancer, where through connections made through the tumor board, the a surgeon in Botswana contacted a surgeon at MGH and discussed how they could go about providing a curative surgery for this patient that had never been done previously in Botswana. Thank 
kahal or di kur kahal ki kis malasiya na kya nsi kis na bata muli mo kona na kalwa la ka la bata nul sa terta ha ni mara ha ho bigin na buto ka. And now this patient, which would never have been possible before, has had a curative surgery and has gone back to her normal life. She's going to work. She's living at home with her family. She's taking care of her granddaughter. It is really exceptional, and it's all. Came about because we were able to bring people together to talk about cancer and how to integrate cancer care for the benefit of patients. Hey, how about you? But now we're going to be able to talk about cancer. We're going to be able to talk about cancer. We're going to be able to talk about cancer. We're going to be able to talk about cancer. The Mass General Cancer Center has many initiatives in global outreach and is working together in close collaboration with the Mass General Center for Global Health. A main mission of any large academic medical center is to serve its community. The community, though, doesn't just have to be local. It can be, and should be, the global community. Through partnerships such as Botswana, Botswana is positioning itself to be a center of excellence in cancer care for Sub-Saharan Africa. I've realized that there's life after cancer.